Hello, Comic Con! I'm Chris Stewart. I am the host of the Empire Podcast, also from Empire Magazine, and it is my genuine pleasure to host this panel for Assembling the Universe, the story of Avengers Campus. Please give a huge Comic Con welcome, first of all, to Scott Drake, Portfolio Creative Executive, Marvel Global Portfolio. Hello, Scott! John Morrow, Portfolio Executive Producer, Marvel Global Portfolio. Dan Fields, Executive Creative Director, Disney Live Entertainment. Caroline May, Creative Director. Steven Spiegel, Executive Story Editor. And Beth Clapperton, Creative Director, Walt Disney Imagineering Paris. Oh yes. Welcome all folks. Have a seat in these surprisingly comfortable chairs. Super comfortable. Super, super comfortable. Um, first of all, Scott, I wanted to ask you, I mean, look at the, uh, the characters we're, we're going to see. Look at them. Look at them. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. These are the characters that you're building Avengers Campus around. What was it, the exciting part about bringing these iconic characters to life for you? Probably everyone in this room, all of us, we are all fans of these extraordinary stories, these dynamic characters. And when we watch these films, I, think, I believe secretly, we all believe that one day we're going to be asked to step up, become something more. What are we going to do with that great power? Avengers Campus is the place where you get to finally step into those roles and train and recruit alongside these extraordinary characters. Indeed. And, uh, and Dan, what was the exciting part of this for you? It was really bringing them to life, but in a way where the, the, the heroes can interact with the guests. That's, that's really the special part. It's not just putting them on display or even just taking a picture with them. It's being part of their world, part of their story. And, uh, and Beth, who has the coolest baseball cap I've ever seen, uh, for you, again, what was the exciting part of, of this, bringing these guys together? Oh, well, firstly, what was really exciting was for me as an Imagineer was actually being with all of these new teammates. So that was a whole new world opened up for me when I started working on the campus. Fantastic. One of the great things of working with Kevin Feige in the studios is that Kevin is such a huge fan of our parks and what we do at Imagineering. So he is incredibly eager and was to bring his characters, his heroes, his stories to life uh, so that our guests could interact with them in a very personal way. So that really started us off on the right foot. Um, and what we've done to date with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout in Anaheim um, just opened the Guardians attraction, Cosmic yeah. Rewind in Florida. Yeah. Um, we've been working now for a few years with them, and it's been an incredible uh, partnership. Worked really, really well. First, one thing that's become clear is through, what, 28 movies now and counting, six TV shows and counting, that everything is connected. And that is a principle that you have applied as well to the Avengers Campus. So it's worldwide, it's global. Can you tell us more uh, about the Avengers Campus Global Initiative? We know that these stories are all interconnected and we have an opportunity in the parks like we never have before. We are telling a global story with these characters that are larger than life. And that allows us to have more Easter eggs than we ever have spread throughout telling this global story. And it all started in Hong Kong with the Iron Man experience. And, and that is the, the first time that we told a story that was set in our world and it launched us into this adventure that now we're seeing unfold across the globe. And it's all been working up towards Paris here opening this summer. This is a, this is a preview, this, this is a, an actual picture of what it's gonna look like that is the in marquee. Paris. Yeah. And, uh, and Beth, so um, it, it was a super fun um, project to uh, be part of. And I want to just remind us again about the high-level story. You know, this campus, you all are going to come as new recruits. Why? Because the world needs more heroes. We know this. And so Tony Stark said, well, we need to build these. We've got this global initiative. Let's build these campuses. And that will enable us to find people like you, discover them, train them and then recruit them to come the next generation of superheroes. So that's what we're doing here. And what you can see in this shot is a concept piece of concept art of the campus that you will discover this summer. Um, into a very beautiful place, uh, a wonderful combination of old architecture and new, sleek, contemporary um, Stark architecture. And of course there is a uh, amazing piece of um, a, a flying vehicle in this image that Scott's <laughs> going to talk to us about, which is the Quinjet. 
Yeah, the Quinjet. So the, the Quinjet is this iconic, you know, uh, Avengers transport. And for us in the land, we're always looking for, for key visual icons to take you and drive through the story. The, the Quinjet for us is something that we designed specific for Avengers Campus. It showcases in California and in Paris. What was really cool is this was one of the times where took the design from Avengers Campus and put it in one of their films. So I love that, those kinds of uh, Easter eggs that work both ways. That's great. And there's, a, there's another vehicle as well which transports yeah. the uh, Marvel heroes around yeah, the Avengers deployment vehicle, the ADV, yes. uh, allows us to uh, transport the heroes around the campus uh, as you should. So Tony Stark designed this uh, with a little help from the Wakandan design group. It's a vibranium-powered vehicle. We actually built this. It is a real thing now that will be uh, driving through the land, transporting heroes, great backdrop for photos. Uh, and just shows you that the Avengers are on the move. Yeah, in that last uh, uh, image, you also saw the Dora Milaje and uh, General Okoye. Any Black Panther fans here? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. So um, part of the, the experiences you'll have there is that General Okoye is going to teach you about the tenets of the Dora Milaje, and you'll have an opportunity to train uh, with her alongside the Dora Milaje and become a warrior ally of Wakanda. So there's some really deeper messages as well as some awesome action in Avengers Campus. That's great. You've you're, you got Wakandans, you've got the Guardians. It's, it's fantastic in that, in that regard. We have the local heroes, the global heroes, and the cosmic heroes, and, and all the stories in between. And we've created this, this story framework that allows us to grow over time because, as you said, None of these stories are slowing down anytime soon. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, guests at Avengers Campus aren't just going to be guests. They are recruits, and they're going to be involved in a... In a there we go. Look at that. We're going to be, they're going to be involved in an incredible ongoing adventure, uh, which brings us very neatly onto this. Uh, this is the first time I believe anyone has spoken about WEB. WEB, the, which stands for the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, is really um, identifying this building, this structure, which is showcasing the latest inventions from these um, set of young geniuses, engineers, scientists. Um, so again, it becomes a unique story that we in the parks have created, um, but has been embraced. So you'll, you'll start to see it actually even in comic books and, and elsewhere. So we're really excited about it. Uh, but to give you a little more about the web story and about the experience on the attraction, I'll turn it over to Steve. Sure. So we have an open house. Uh, hosted by Peter Parker. He's going to be showcasing his web slinger vehicle, which allows everyday guests to uh, be able to sling webs just like Spider-Man. So really excited to show that off. But he's also, you know, being a kid and, and being a genius, and he's super excited. Uh, he's got this other project called the Spider-Bots uh, that he can't help but show off. Um, and unfortunately, they get into this self-replication loop and start uh, duplicating themselves and start taking over the campus. So he has to call off the open house and, and ask us to jump in those web slinger vehicles and help web up spider bots. Uh, and it's an incredible, it's just an incredible technology. You really feel like when you're on there, it's very interactive um, and very dynamic that you are right along with Spider-Man uh, helping to save the campus. I, I, I would say, and I've, I've said this before, because every time we did the first mock-ups of, of this technology. We've, we've all been pretending to shoot webs since we were, yeah. you know, forever. <laughs> but the first time we did it with this new technology and webs shot out of our hand and we could recoil it, we could play with this web, yeah. it was instantly a, a win and we're so happy that it's now deployed onto this attraction that everyone gets to experience. It's super fun. <clears throat> That sounds so cool. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing that for years. I'm sure we all have, right? We've all been doing the, uh, yeah, okay. And now you can actually do it and have something come out of your wrist. That's amazing. Uh, but the story of Web continues. It doesn't just finish here. It, 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 and then you, once you leave the Web Slinger vehicle, you, uh, you enter mission equipment where residents and uh, recruits can actually gear up. Caroline, can you talk about, about this? I mean, how, yeah. how, does this, how does merchandise deepen the storytelling? Oh, merchandise here? is so important to the overall experience. And so... As you exit into this gift shop, it's separated into two different areas. One where you can show your affinity for web, and one area where you can um, commemorate your experience through Avengers Campus product. 
But for us, it was really important to work with our merchandise partners and to develop product that actually enhances your experience and makes you feel like you're a part of the story and a part of the action. And we were able to do this with SpiderBots, which you heard about. So you can actually take home your very own SpiderBot, which in essence is a battle bot. And you can also purchase tactical upgrades for it that are each inspired by the different superheroes. And then I think one of the coolest pieces of merchandise that we created, which is truly unique and unlike anything we've done before, is the web tech gauntlet. And that actually gives you the ability to have a completely different power set on the Spider-Man attraction. So instead of shooting webs like Spider-Man, if you're a big fan of Iron Man, you can purchase the web tech gauntlet that's inspired by him and actually have repulsor beams when you're in the attraction. So this is such an amazing experience. It makes the ride uh, so much more exciting and repeatable um, than anything that we've really done before. Amazing. So, um, so a, a campus, the very notion of a campus suggests a place brimming with life and energy and, and heroes as well. So, Dan, can you tell us more about the heroes we might bump into? Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of them, I think. Uh, yeah is becoming clear. Uh, there's roaming heroes all over, but we want you to look to the rooftops in Avengers Campus. Uh, you're going to find Avengers Unite, where uh, Black Widow and Black Panther take on an incursion by Taskmaster and some of his, uh, some of his henchmen uh, throughout the day in Avengers Campus. Uh, down at ground level, of course, uh, Star-Lord and Gamora are there, uh, also trying to uh, look for recruits. But, of course, Star-Lord is really only interested in uh, doing a dance off. So <laughs> there's another way of getting involved there. The roaming characters, uh, the roaming heroes are around the land also stop here at the gateway portal where um, a number of heroes like Ant-Man and the Wasp are there to have heroic encounters with the guests and play some games uh, with the kids with some of the PIM, with some of the PIM particles. Uh, so there's just there's something going on wherever you, wherever you look. And one of the other exciting parts about this is because uh, instead of just a uh, a character in a corner for, for a meet and greet, these characters, the heroes are all around the land and they're also interacting with each other. So keep your eyes open to see some heroes interact with each other who you may not have ever seen come together before. But that, that immersion, that's, that's obviously a key goal for you guys, right from the off. That you want people, you want guests, you want recruits to feel surrounded in this world. Yeah. So, so that's why there's this, to this training center as part of the, one of the addresses at the campus at Avengers, yeah. uh, Avengers headquarters. So there's a couple of different opportunities there. Um, Tony Stark has made a room specifically for Spider-Man, uh, tricked out so he can test new equipment, new web fluid, and there's an opportunity for you to come in and um, train alongside him there. Uh, and then next door, the Avengers have their own set of uh, training rooms. And so as you learn about what, what the meaning of different action stances are, we document it with this multi-frame, freeze-frame technique. So not just a traditional photo takeaway, but uh, a, a moment of action uh, that you stage and frame for yourself. Um, so we're really looking forward to seeing what, what you guys bring in, in, uh, in your training when you come to take these photos. <laughs> I'd go full on repulsor. Yes. I'd have to. Absolutely. It's such a cliche, but I'd have to do it. Um, and uh, obviously, after a long and busy day of training, whether you've danced off with Peter Quill or you've been trained with Spider Man, you want a chance to recharge, right? So, where can you recharge at Avengers Campus, Beth? Well, so we can recharge in a couple, of, um, a couple of places, but let's take a look at this one first, which is the Stark factory. And I don't know, you know, Tony Stark was very busy when he was developing this new campus, but he didn't just pick anywhere to build this new campus. He actually picked a site that his father had already worked on. He had established um, a factory and a, a cover for himself, Tony um, Howard Stark, while he was working for S.H.I.E.L.D. So that's why Tony Stark actually built the campus there. So some of the buildings, as you can see, Stark Factory here used to be in the old compound. It was a place that um, um, Howard Stark assembled uh, vehicles in. So 
Tony in the new renovation has pulled out all the equipment and turned it into a um, workshop where he and his uh, Avengers pals can repair their equipment. There's one pretty impressive um, piece of equipment being repaired right here, which you will see right at the entrance to this restaurant. There's other equipment that's stored around, the, uh, around this restaurant, so it's a pretty immersive um, place to come in and, and have a bite in between your missions. But, but, but speaking of uh, food, Caroline, where else is there to eat? Yeah, so, you know, we've seen Ant-Man and the Wasp make just about everything big or small. So what if you applied that same technology to food and had oversized pretzels and mini burger sliders? And I think what's so fun about this restaurant is the juxtaposition of cast members who are wearing lab coats and who are making the food big and small right in front of you. And as you walk into the quantum tunnel, you see them uh, mixing drinks that are really colorful in beakers and test tubes. You hear quite often people talk about how locations are a character in something. But this is actually true of this building, this Avengers HQ that Tony Stark has built. Uh, John, what can you tell us about, about what we see here? Yeah, that's right. You see Friday manifested on the, the side of this building, but you also hear her throughout the land, and she interacts with a lot of the heroes in the land, with our guests as they walk through. So she really brings it to life. It really adds a new layer of storytelling, a new layer of immersion that we really find compelling. And then, of course, just with the beauty of, of the lights and the movement and the music, it takes on a different feeling as well at, at nighttime. It really turns it into a magical place. Having Friday as a character that is really programming the land, sensing threats, communicating with new recruits, this is something that we've never done in a land before, and it will definitely feel different than anything, any place you've been before, even other campuses that we've built before. What exactly is Avengers Flight Force? What can you say about this? So Avengers Flight Force is a, our brand new attraction for Avengers Campus. And this is where you get to walk up. You've been training with all of the Avengers, and now you're stepping up as a recruit. And right when you get up to the, the front door, it's yellow alert. And when you step inside, Steve will tell you what's happening. <laughs> when you step inside, you learn that uh, Tony Stark has been monitoring these Kree warheads that are headed to the Earth. Captain Marvel is out in space chasing them down. He's trying to find other Avengers, um, and there's, there's no one available. But we, we recruits are ready to step up and uh, get in these vehicles and help save the planet. This is when the story turns from watching the story to unfold to now you're literally being launched into space to be right in the middle of, of this battle with Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Do you have a favorite aspect of Avengers Campus? John, let's start with I think for me, it's, um, it's just this idea, as I was saying earlier, that it can continue to evolve. It, it's never stagnant. It's always changing. You could come back again and again, and it will feel different. And I think, as Steve was alluding to, with, with the idea of some of the Easter eggs and the map and things like that, for the super fans of this universe, you could spend all day there and just looking at the details and you're not going to pick everything up. We have developed, written so many layers into this story that you can start to peel back. Um, and that's, well, that's some of the best of what we do at Imagine. That's what we love to do. That's what we love to share with our fans. So for me, that, just that essence of, of what Avengers Campus is as a whole is exciting. And Beth? You know, so I, I think I've got to say that the thing that I, I really like about the campus is the way that as a new recruit you're going to come into here and you have access to a much bigger universe. So we're going to take you out really big and at the same time we're going to give you access to your own everyday in a hero and so you can go as far as you want and as deep as you want. And I think if we're going to help you do that throughout the whole day and all of your all of your training missions that's really what you have access to and i think it's super important if we can be in touch with our own inner hero we can come away with that we've succeeded and uh, and dan what about you what's your favorite part 
I didn't even mention that Spider-Man is also up on the roof all day, <laughs> testing out stuff, trying things, doing his flips and swinging around. So I'm excited for guests, especially young guests or Spider-Man fans, uh, to be able to, to uh, see him and talk to him all over the place during their visit to Avengers Campus. It really is one of the most immersive lands that we've created in Disneyland Paris, where you actually feel like you're a part of the action. And that was something that we focused on a lot when we were thinking about what these attractions wanted to be. And even the merchandise, like I said before, you know, the design of all of that product was from the viewpoint of the Worldwide Engineering Brigade and what they would create. So um, it's those little details that deep storytelling and authenticity that I think we've really brought to the campus. And, uh, and Stephen? I really love the diversity of the addresses, which gives us the flexibility to bring in, you know, heroes, not just the heroes that we know today, but uh, the heroes of the future, uh, and also to inspire the heroes of the future. Um, that excites me. I'm just um, thrilled about this campus. So I, I, I'm such a fan of immersive design and everything that um, the craft of what we can deliver when we're all putting our minds towards you know, a single story, a single vision. And these, this universe allows us to do all of our, our best tools and technologies to deliver immersion in, in new ways. So I'm, I'm always a, a fan of something that allows us to elevate our craft. And this universe, there's no limits to it. As we're continuing to see reinvent itself, that's the same thing we're doing and getting to work with so many extraordinary talents, uh, both at Imagineering and with the studios. Everyone that touches this elevates it, and that's, that's what's so fun. So I can't wait for all of you guys to experience it. Absolutely. And, uh, and just finally, Scott, we, we started with you. Let's, let's finish with you. The, uh, can you talk about the core values? What, what do you want people to take away from it once they've had their, their experience at Avengers Campus, what do you want to, to stay with people? Well, you know, to, to me and what has been driving us since the very beginning is that everyone feels included, welcome to be part of this team. We want to be part of this bigger universe. So once you step in, um, not only are you right in the middle of the action, but you should leave there empowered and feel like, you know, that inner hero has been unleashed and, and you're ready to take on anything. So. Uh, I can't wait for everyone to come and participate. <laughs> Amazing. Guys, frankly, you have me a giant pretzels. So <laughs> I am going to be there. The, the uh, campus opens, of course, Disneyland Paris on July 20th. Uh, that is all the time we have, I'm afraid. Thank you so much for coming. And please give it up once again for the incredible Imagineers, Scott and John and Beth and Dan and Caroline and Stephen. Thank you so much for coming. Good night. Good night.